Hi. Oh, hi. I say hi twice today, which is great. Um, we're back again for the Craft Hangout, and today um, we're going to be talking about egg cartons and what you can make with these. Um, as it's Easter coming up, it kind of felt like a nice sort of topic to look at, um, and a lot of people were going, oh, no, what am I going to make? And so, you know, hopefully we'll come up with some nice, unique and different ideas for you today. Um, and we'll start off with just a really simple one that I made um, with the kids. Uh, this is quite common craft in Germany, so I know this from my childhood. I've seen it knocking around Pinterest as well recently, so obviously people are picking up on it again. But um, it's just really cute, really simple. Uh, my daughter Pip Sweet adores it. Um, she made this one. You can tell that she's made it because it's got lots of feathers. Um, so that was her creation, so that's great. Uh, basically really quick to make, so I'm going to do it in like a minute, I hope, we get to the egg carton. So here's your egg carton. Um, I've just cut out the bottom like this. Um, it can be a bit tricky to cut, so sometimes I cut it and then trim it afterwards. Um, I find using these sort of little nail scissors really handy to get into it. I'll cut it out and then let the kids at it. Um, I was hoping that my five-year-old would do his from scratch, so do all the cutting himself, but at the moment he doesn't want to make one, which is fair enough. So. Um, you have your little bits, which is some bits of felt, some googly eyes, and some glue. Um, basically, the the sort of the, the bottom bit is like an upside down heart. You have uh, like a diamond for the beak that you fold over, and then you cut a comb. And then the sort of the trick with the comb is to have a tiny little cut with where you're going to fold it over the edge. Um, and then the rest is really really straightforward. You just take your PVA or white glue. We just use tons because this is easiest for my little girl. So you just dab on tons and tons and tons. And obviously, the great thing about this glue is, is it dries clear, and then it just means smaller hands can manage this because it does it just does feel a bit fiddly. It's not too bad, but it it can feel that way. So you stick on your upside down heart, and you put in your beak. I feel like Mr. Maker in the UK who has a 60 second challenge. Oops, here's the other, the other eye, and then, so here's my little cut, stick it on the back, this is the fiddliest bit of it, of it all, and then just let it set, a bit fiddly, but there you go, little chicken, pop in your egg, and you're done, so that's the first craft to set us off for the egg carton hangout. Um, I'll pass you over now to Anthea for her wonderful craft. Which you? Hi, I'm Anthea from um, Zing Zing Tree, and uh, again using an egg carton. I make very simply, just with a lolly stick and some white glue. These are uh, cute bird masks. Woo! Now they're very simple to do, but you get two. Two masks per egg carton, um, and you can kind of see the eyes at the top and the bottom. You get a slightly different look of bird, with a little kind of gap at the top of our egg cartons. You cut them out, stick the eyes to the, the beak. You can leave them like this, these look quite cool actually, glued onto the wall. Um, and then stick your lolly stick on the side. You can leave them like this, these are great fun and very easy, I mean my girls now they are a bit bigger so they tend to put them on their animals and their toys, but you can decorate them with all kinds of things, so we've used glitter here on craft sand to make a sparkly one. Um, this one we've just used glitter and we've left the, the side because it's a nice yellow egg carton. You can paint them, uh, this one has actually become a bit more of a reptile, this looks like a lizard where we've used um, Oh, I've forgotten. Animal print, that's the word. I want animal print and um, tissue paper. Um, and you can stick feathers. I did have a lovely feather one, but the cat got that, so um, it's in bits at the moment. But they're just very simple, very easy, and don't cost very much, and the kids love them. And I'm now going to pass over to the lovely Keris from uh, Rainy Day Mum. Keris, you're muted. Can you try again? Keris, you're still muted. I can't do anything. 
We've got we've got you. It's working now. We've got we've got. Keris, we can hear you now. Can you carry on? Chris, we're going to go on to you now. Okay. I'm, hi, I'm Chris from Thinly Spread, and we've done um, a very traditional craft for the UK, which is to um, grow cress in our um, egg cartons. Um, and I've seen, again, I've seen this hanging around on Pinterest a bit recently. We've done this for the last few years, and we've used a large, long um, egg carton that car carries a dozen eggs to make this, uh, this little caterpillar. Whoop, which way? That way. There's his little face, so we, what we do is we turn it over, it's the bottom of the egg carton, turn it over and cut off the pointy bit so that he sits flat, and then you plant your crests in the holes in the, in the very bottom of the egg carton. Uh, what we found, there he is, look, he's nice and hairy. What we found is that you need to line your egg carton with plastic, and then put some cotton wool in, damp cotton wool, then put your crest seeds on, because if you don't put the plastic in the bottom, it dries out and the crest doesn't grow. That's really important. And then with decorated it with pom-poms and, and all sorts of bits and pieces and given him some little pipe cleaner antennae. Um, and then he'll be in an egg sandwich tomorrow, which seems appropriate. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to pass on to Crystal. Hello. Um, I have some little ice cream cones for your felt play or for tree decoration. Uh, they're quite easy. You just take your egg carton take out one of the wee pointy bits, cut it around flat, and then uh, have fun painting it up and just inside there. And then take a piece of felt or fabric and just do a quick stitch around the edges. A little cotton batting or a crunched up newsprint. Give a little tug on your stitches there, or if you don't, have, don't want to fiddle with that, you can use a rubber band or a twist tie along the bottom. Take your little cone again, put some glue around the inside edge, and then just stick your topping in there, and then you have your little ice cream cone, and you can paint up the tops if you like, if you want to add any sprinkles or chocolate chips, and if you want to hang it on the tree, just add another loop of thread to the top, and uh, make some lovely wee, wee little simple thing for the kids to make. And now I'll pass on over to Kelly. Hi, um, I have made, uh, I guess, Easter flower pots, Easter eggs. I have to stand back here. Um, so I took the individual egg holders from the cartons, cut them out, uh, wrapped them in um, card, and, and then kind of cut the fringes to make it look like grass. Um, we put Play Doh in the bottom, and then my girls put uh, pom pom flowers in the top. You know, if you can see there, that's a plant marker. Uh, which says Happy Mother's Day, so actually they made this one for me for Mother's Day. Um, a sort of more Eastery one would be this one here, which is obviously glammed up. Um, I made this one with felt, and it's got kind of sequined flowers on and so forth. But same thing again, Play-Doh in the bottom, or, um, well, something really just to fill it. And then there's a little uh, Easter bunny chocolate, and we will be giving these out to uh, friends and children and so on and so forth um, in the run-up to Easter. So that's it, and I'm going to pass on to Liz from Me and My Shadow. Hi, thanks Kelly. Um, we've been making um, some daffodils. So we've made these for um, a few years now at springtime, so they're really easy um, for little ones to make themselves. You just cut out the, um, the recessed part of the egg box, the bit that the egg actually sits in and then cut that with a little jagged spiky edge to make you see a sort of a woo, drop it. So you get the um, the trumpet shape inside. Um, and then inside for the pollen, what we do is we put a little bit of PVA glue and sprinkle some um, lentils in there. We always have lentils in the cupboard and no one ever eats them, so they always get used to the path. Um, if you, <laughs> sorry, Chris. Um, if you don't have lentils, you can use um, screwed up bits of orange tissue paper, but it just gives a nice contrast. Um, if you buy the yellow egg cartons already from a certain free range company, they're much easier. 
Otherwise, you can just um, paint your daffodils yellow, or you can use different colored egg cartons for different sorts of flowers. Um, we traced out some petal shapes, and we wanted to cut those out, and then we just stuck them onto the back of the egg carton, and then we just tape um, a little stick on the back, and you can make a nice little bunch of daffodils like that. That's our craft, and I'll hand you over to Rebecca from Here Come the Girls. Hello. Um, mine's really simple this evening. Um, we just use egg cartons as a really easy um, way to mix paint. Um, you just put your paint in each of the bits and then you've got space for colour blending over on the other side. Um, and it's great because then you can just throw it away and there's no washing up, which I always like. And um, if you don't want to throw them away straight away, you sometimes end up with some really nice colours in there. And that's really good for doing a bit of counting once it's dried. Um, my girls really like using the little plastic eggs so they can put them in there. You could put a number if you want or you could colour match. Um, and then they look really pretty. Okay, I'm handing back to Maggie. Excellent. Um, I love all those ideas. I've got one more for you guys, which I know you've seen before, which is um, I was going to turn all the lights off and show this in the dark, but then they showed up really bright, so it actually didn't help that much. Uh, these egg carton um, fairy lights, I mean, they look a little bit bright, but um, we, we had some little pink ones and some little uh, yellow ones. They were meant to be like blossoms for spring, and these were meant to be uh, sort of daffodils. Um, and so I'm trying to kind of keep moving it so you can sort of see it a bit without it shining too bright. And basically, it's the same sort of principle. You need the special egg cartons because in the UK, um, if you look at this chick, uh, where is it? There's a little gap. You need the egg cartons that are closed, which shows you here, because then you have a proper little cup. Um, so when you're in the shops in the UK, that is, make sure that there's no gaps between the um, actual where the eggs sit, and then you can use this one to make your fairy lights. Um, because you need to be able to cut a whole shape out and the difference between the daffodil basically is just um, yellow with some gold glitter that uh, Red Ted decided to add which I thought was really wonderful and the pink ones I just cut in some petals for the children with my nail scissors again and then we added some pink glitter um, and the kids basically did all the painting and then they had really good fun with the glitter outside and I thought the uh, you know a year later we still have egg carton fairy lights um, Anyway, so those are our egg cut and craft. Sorry that we had to kick Keris out. She obviously had some technical problems. She was showing you some speckled frogs that she did for the um, Five Little Speckled Frogs song that you get in the UK. Um, we will be sharing her link later. So um, sorry that you couldn't see it, but we'll, 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 add it, we'll add everybody's links in the comments and then you can see them. So anyway, so thank you very much for coming today. It was really nice to have the egg cut and, egg cut and craft hang out with you guys today. Um, and we'll see you again soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.